remember when I was a kid on Curry uh, Lake, there's a guy named Bill Eno. He was a old fellow. He had a he had a little cabin rental thing, and he had a boat gas and that on the, on the dock. And he was the only guy that was allowed to commercial fish on Curry Lake. So I was young. I think I was around maybe ten. I had my I had my own boat. I bought and paid for just doing chores around the cottage. So I was always up early every morning, I was always, uh, out on the lake fishing, and when he used to come out, he, off Turnier's Point, he would set his nets out. Uh, I think it was only one, maybe one or two nets. He had big boys that were floating on the water, and he'd put them in, and he'd leave them overnight, and then he'd come back the next day and pick them up. So when uh, I always got up early, and I wait waited until I could see him coming and I jumped in my little boat, this little 12 foot with a five and a half, loaded my fishing gear and went across and I'd watch him. He'd pull in these nets and there's a ton of pelicans. I don't know how many, probably 50, 50. So he'd load up his fish and then he'd feed them. <laughs> he'd toss them back, maybe they were suckers or I'm not sure what, whatever else, because he, he was only supposed to keep the white fish. I don't know if he kept any of the He'd toss him back and uh, put his nets back in the thing and head back and then I'd fish the rest of the day on the bank. So it was kind of interesting to watch. And I remember the, uh, odd, the odd time people would go across the lake and they'd get their motors tangled up in the net and make a hell of a mess. And uh, I know he was always, always perturbed, but hey, the boys were there. I guess he could have laid them up you know, a little better at night. So Let you watch the rest of the video and enjoy.